world travelers welcome back to my channel if you're subscribed if you're new welcome to the world of bliss i'm listening i hope that you do stick around like subscribe and turn your post notification bell on to become part of my world so yesterday we finished um a great trip with a crazy leg from atlanta back to LaGuardia. it was a lot payload optimized full flight delayed hours customers irate it was just a lot going on i was supposed to go home but i ended up what did i end up doing because i got flown into my off day i was just exhausted I slept until 2, got ready, it's 3.15, and we're about to run errands. First stop is pedicure. I gotta try a new place because the place that I've been going to, faithfully, has just been not getting it right, ruining it. And then we need to pick up some uniform pieces that I got, that I dropped off to get altered. I've been going to this place since 2016. Um, they always seem to get it right. And then we need to go to the beauty supply store. We need to go to Queen Center Mall. We need to go to Target. And we need to get these eyebrows done. What else do we need to do? We need to come back and pack because we start a fake two day tomorrow. So um, yeah, we're about to get on this train, run our errands and I'll see y'all later. question it's september 12th why is it blazing hot why is it 83 83 degrees out And I did tell him no rush, but I saw him circle a T. I just thought it was Tuesday. So I was like, oh yeah, no problem, no problem, no problem. Um, it's fine, those are my guys. <laughs> so we are about to go get our eyebrows done. I think I had found my new place to get my pedicure. She did a really good job. She filed them, she cut them. Um, she didn't use that cheese grater. I hate when they use a the cheese grater. She did her thing, so. Waiting for the bus and then heading to get the eyebrows done. Yeah, 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 yeah. They get me right, y'all. They get me right. Um, going to the mall. Hopefully I can get me going to the mall. Because uh, it's 6.20. I didn't realize how late it was. And then after the mall, we'll go to Target. It's the next day. We are about to work 
um, one leg from JFK to Salt Lake, have a day over, like 11, 12 hours in Salt Lake, and then work the red eye tonight. I was tired, so I ordered an Uber, came, got coffee, waiting on the rest of the crew. I am the most junior. So let's see where this trip takes us. Full flight on a 321, minimum crew of four, 191 seats, all 191 will be occupied. like a little just a little sketched out just a little just a little sketched out so um, before I get into what just happened um great day great day full flight Ooh, I'm still trying to process my thoughts and everything great day full flights and I actually had one of my new hire mentors on my flight I was a little like nervous having him there because you know I like low-key report to him every month about how everything's going and you know just having like someone like in a higher power on your flight kind of observe he didn't come there to observe me he actually came here to help out with this base um it was kind of intimidating but you know he gave me my props and um i did appreciate that but y'all two things the first thing i'm about to tell you is not what scared me but i knew that's what happened because it's happened to me before um uh Right after we got our initial descent announcement, the pilots called back and said, hey, I would like you guys to wrap everything up because it's storming in Salt Lake. Um, I would rather you guys be in your jump seats, secured um, and ready for landing. And we're like, cool, no problem. So, you know, we close out the flight, collect garbage, um, make sure everyone is um, in compliance with their seatbelts, seat backs up, tray tables up, all that shabam. We sit in our seats and not even like 30 seconds later, you hear a loud boom and then like the cabin like lit up um we got struck by lightning we got struck by lightning and it, it it tends to happen like it's like we were safe but like if you know you know like people kind of were like looking like what happened but like um there were a lot of like uh crew members commuting home or like going for work and like i heard like oh i think we just got struck by lightning um but when we landed the pilot said that there was no damage at all to the plane um but we mm, all the flight attendants knew like right when we were like walking up um from getting our bags once the last passenger got off we all looked at each other we're like did we get struck by lightning and we're like yeah and then the pilots came out and was like you guys won't believe i'm like yeah struck by lightning <laughs> but great ride coming here our driver was nice i get to my room and I'm like trying to check my room. I'm talking to my other coworker and um, I see a presence, but I think I thought it was my shadow or my reflection in the mirror because there's a mirror as soon as you open the door. And then I hear a man's voice and I scream, I scream to the top of my lungs. Um, and my flying partner or my coworker hadn't gotten into her room yet. And she's like, what's wrong? I'm like, somebody's in my room. Like I literally rushed out and then he came out and he's like, um, it was, he was housekeeping he you know he was in uniform um he was cleaning the room but he said that he wasn't expecting us because we did land um i think 45 or 50 minutes early we did land early but i was not expecting to have anybody in my room and usually when housekeeping is in your room they put like um you probably can't see it my bags are still at the door a little shaken up they put the latch outside the door so that the door still remains open but there wasn't a cart in the hallway like there wasn't like a housekeeping cart in the hallway. He says that he was dusting and he came out with like a pail, but like um, he gave us his name and like, you know, I'm just gonna just calm down my nerves a little bit and then just kind of call like the front desk, just let them know, like, you know, just for few re future references, if somebody is gonna be dusting or in the room, can they just at least have, um, the latch outside the door especially crew members we don't check in at regular hotel check-in times which is what three four o'clock we check in whenever we're done with our day and we check out whenever we're ready to leave so like um especially if you know that these rooms are going out to crew members that can come in at any time um for safety it'd be best if the latch is left outside the door because and then when i left it took him like a while to leave the room and i just have to check for cameras now um and all of that like before i take any of my clothes off i'm gonna check for cameras just make sure that 
nothing was left behind you know he seemed very apologetic he seemed very sincere like he it didn't seem like foul play but like my nerves like i screamed to the top of my lungs and i'm so glad that my um fellow flight attendant was like right across the hall like literally like our rooms are right across from each other so that's that i was gonna go out to the um pool with my flight leader who's very cool the whole crew is very cool um but it's raining and it's a little chilly so i think i'm just gonna stay in order food and then i don't know if i told you guys but um we're working the red eye tonight um so we have a 1032 van and it is currently 10 38 so literally 12 hours from now i'll be leaving the hotel so i'm just gonna um check the room for cameras um or anything suspicious and then uh shower and then get in bed start editing some videos probably not fall asleep probably until i'll probably fall asleep like around i don't know like two mm, two three yeah, I want to get like a good night's rest because last night I didn't get a good night's rest because yesterday I was busy running errands. I went all across Queens and then um, I didn't sleep well last night only because like when I have early shows, I never want to fall into deep sleep because I'm always scared of like oversleeping and I might do some self-care. I kind of wanted to wash my hair, but like, I don't know. I just don't feel like dealing with my hair right now. I just don't feel like dealing with my hair. So see you guys later for the red eye back to New York. Hey, road travelers. I know I said I wasn't going to leave my room, but I got hungry and I got snacks for now. Well, for later. Ooh, I got snacks for later at the gas station because that's one way to keep me up during my red eyes. But I'm going to get something that I don't need to eat, but that's okay because that's my business. <laughs> um, just so I can have for lunch and then I'm going to make like a ramen later um, for dinner when I wake up before I walk out. So. Just wanted to get some fresh air. I got my snacks, got my candy, got my sweets, got my chips to munch on and keep me up. And, um, ooh, I could probably get a coffee for later too. I'll probably get a coffee, no ice, add ice, add ice later. Because usually waiting at that Starbucks takes forever and they'll take their mobile ordering off. Yeah, and you'll be in line forever until you're late. So let me go get food. I'll see y'all tonight. dressed ready um not to go but in the near future um i get picked up in like 45 minutes so i'm real i'm doing like really really great on time but i don't know if you guys can tell try to zoom in on my forehead right <clears throat> right here see it's invisible right here i have like a um I have a mighty patch because I have a zit starting to grow 
and I love these because especially I love them like even if it's not a red eye but if it's a red eye I love it because I could just pop this on no one will have even be able to tell and hopefully I can combat it before it combats me <laughs> so I'm gonna go heat up some nuggets that I have and then come back in my room make my coffee and then um walk out room is packed eyebrows I freaking love my eyebrow lady oh I love you girl mm. I love you and I tried a new sunscreen I don't know how I feel about it because it's kind of leaving a slight white cast on me but it's a red eye hopefully no one can tell oh I need to apply mascara to my bottom lashes and I actually like that little eye patch that I had under my eye so I feel great I feel rested I'm ready to take on this red eye um, I don't know if you got if I told y'all but I actually picked this up just to make a little lot extra money <laughs> and then um, I'll see you guys later I think there was something else I wanted to tell you guys but I cannot for the life of me remember um, we'll be on a different aircraft today we'll be on the 73 900 series and I love the overhead bins on there um, we barely ever have to check bags um, most if not all bags usually fit on that aircraft and we are completely full so yeah I'll see you guys later Things them happening, schemes and packaging. In a one night for shows, I'm juggling. Flow like the ocean, my boat, I'm paddling. Shut up, she's not fella, that's my bro. My family, frozen. Hey y'all, it's 7:47. Just took a shower, got off the bus. I didn't even know I fell asleep on a bus. I didn't even know how I woke up right before my stop. But we have eight days tomorrow. I'm going to sleep. I'm tired. I'm beat. I'm drained. Hey y'all. Um, I'm gonna sleep all day. Woke up, got food, packed my bags. I was assigned a rotation on my on call days for tomorrow. So we do have a three day trip with a 6 10 a.m. report. It's currently 8 08, so I'm gonna go to sleep because I have to be up at 3. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Different things them happening, schemes and packaging. In a one night for shows, I'm juggling. Flow like the ocean, my boat, I'm paddling. Shut up, she's not fella, that's my bro. My family did frozen. Good morning, y'all. Um, it's the next day, y'all. I was tired yesterday. I was groggy. We came in from a red eye, and we were on eight days. And I believe I told y'all that I was assigned um, a three-day trip. So we are working three flights today: LaGuardia, Orlando on the 321, Orlando, Atlanta on a 7-6, which is a wide body. Um, we're gonna get two additional flight attendants. If you guys watched maybe my last trip or my second to last trip, you guys know that um, myself and another flight attendant were the extras. So we're gonna pick up um, extra flight attendants to work the uh, wide body aircraft. And then um, Atlanta to, dang. I wanna say Bradley, Connecticut, Hartford, Winterlock, or Albany. New York crew is cool so far I know the flight leader um, I got his coffee this morning catering has not catered me yet I'm gonna be the galley which is great because I'm the most senior so I can kind of work the cart alone and just kind of set up the cart how I like it and I set up the other two flight attendants who are on the bigger cart for success um, I hate having I don't hate it but when I'm not galley, I hate when I don't have everything that I need and having to constantly go back to the galley person to ask for this or to ask for that. So I always like to set the cart up how I would like it to be if I wasn't on it, basically. So I add headphones to there, I add extra snacks, I stock it up so enough snacks are in the hanging basket. Um, I give them ample coffee, ample hot water. I just set it up to success. I wish I could show you guys, but like when passengers are on board, I don't film just for social media policies I don't want to get in trouble and that's not something that I'm willing to risk so waiting for catering to come so I can stock up I'm on my least favorite plane the 321 what you want I'm vlogging come say hi <laughs> what's you talking your head off about back there I was telling them about the trip Hey, world travelers. 
Um, we're here in Orlando. We got big, big behind ant. There's ants. Out. All right, now Orlando. It's these kids dropping everything. Um, I'm in a secluded part of the airport. No one's here. Out of sight, out of mind. Um, we worked the flight here. Very adventurous boarding process. Had two kids throwing up. Issues with bags. Seat duplicates and a whole bunch of bunch of bunch of <laughs> but um all of our standby passengers were able to get on so that's always great for all my commuters and people who are just traveling and then we had um one of our flight attendants give us chocolates and some cookies so we have two and a half hours here until our next flight like i told you we'll be on a white body we'll be gaining two more flight attendants um i just needed a break from people so i just came here no shade to any of my crew members but because that flight was just so hectic i just needed a break and my skin is just going through it because a lot of different waters I've been using my skin is very sensitive and my face is just like girl what's going on so that's all Stay tuned, I'm tired y'all. 6.20, we depart out of here at 7.20, so I have 20 minutes to set up the cabin or the galley, which is a mess. Um, I'm exhausted, two flights, Hartford to Atlanta, Atlanta to Albany, New York, and then um, we're done by one. So I'm just gonna get in my zone, set up. By the time I'm done, we should start boarding. travelers i have to walk backwards simply due to the fact that the sun is behind us but i was tired today today was like a really tiring day for me it was a short day we only had two flights um hartford to atlanta atlanta to albany and we're here on our way here the driver said that oops sorry on the way here the driver <laughs> there was two people in their car on the way here the driver said that there's a street market or street fest so we're walking to the street fest and yeah take you guys along that's all
is 438. We have a 443 van. Two flights today, um, Albany to Atlanta, Atlanta to LaGuardia, and we're done. Um, I'm trying to go see um, my best friend in West Palm, but if not, I'll just go home. So I'm exhausted. I'm drained. Last night or yesterday afternoon was great. Came back around 6, 536 knocked out and i feel good i'm just ready to end this trip i've been going real hard like i got kids i mean i do i got a son so i'll see you guys a little later on hey y'all so we just finished um this trip i'm tired i'm exhausted I've actually been on an 11-day stretch of working. Well, 10 days, but 11 if you count my new hire meeting. So um, I'm trying to get on a 325 flight to Jax. If I can't get on that, I'm going to go to a different terminal for 430. But I do have a jump seat booked on a 830 flight tonight. So I haven't been home in a long, long, long time. So I'm looking forward to going home. Disregard all this fruits. I have my glasses on and off today. But yeah, I'll keep y'all updated. travelers i did want to thank you guys for watching this video i hope that you guys can hear me i'm in the airport and it is a bit loud um but be sure to give it a like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to turn your post notification bell on both of these trips were great i am trying to catch up to real-time vlogs but baby work has had me in a chokehold i have a lot of goals that i'm trying to accomplish and um i have a monetary amount that i'm just trying to save so i've just been going really really hard this year before the end of the year so thanks for watching this video comment some money signs y'all comment some money signs because i've been going hard i've been grinding um i was finally able to go home spend some time with papa spend some time with the guys and um i'll see you guys in my next video bye real bye